Pipes and Cisterns, Part 2. Hi, I'm Daniel D'Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 2 of the lectures on Pipes and Cisterns. Part 1 was simply an introduction, where we solved a simple problem. Now let's solve some more problems. Here's your first one. Problem 1. Two pipes can fill a tank in 10 hours and 12 hours respectively, while a third pipe empties the full tank in 20 hours. If all the three pipes operate simultaneously, in how much time will the tank be filled? Alright, let's fill in the data. Pipe 1, 10 hours it fills the tank. Right, so every hour, 1 over 10. Pipe 2, 1 over 12. In the same way. But pipe 3 empties it. So it is minus 1 by 20 because it empties it in 20 hours. Now let's write the network equation. It becomes 1 by 10 plus 1 by 12 minus 1 by 20. If you take an LCM, it comes out to be 60. This will be 6 plus 5 minus 3. This is 8 over 60. Right? Now cancel it out. 4 2s are, 4 15s are. So 2 by 15 of the tank is filled every hour. How can I say filled? Because it's a positive quantity. Now, if 2 by 15 is filled every hour, then how much time will it take to fill the tank? Right? Just the inverse. 15 over 2 or seven and a half. Now how can you write this in, time f uh, in terms of time? It becomes seven hours and 30 minutes. Now usually you see this option and you eliminate it because you think that the answer will always be in hours. That is not necessary. It may even come to this answer. All right, let's go to the second problem. Problem two. If two pipes function simultaneously, the reservoir will be filled in 12 hours. One pipe fills the reservoir 10 hours faster than the other. How many hours does it take the second pipe to fill the reservoir? Alright, let's solve the second one. Now in the second one, they haven't given you much information. They've just said that the tank gets filled in 12 hours and the first pipe is faster than the second pipe by 10 hours. Let's write the equations. Now you don't have any values. Let's assign a variable x. So you can say that the first pipe fills the tank in x number of hours. Since we know that the second pipe is slower than the first pipe by 10 hours, we can write this as x plus 10. Now these are the assumptions that have to be made in order to solve the problem. Otherwise, it's impossible to solve them. So this needs to come naturally to you. This will only come by practicing the problems over and over. All right, now let's write the equation. First pipe fills it in x hours. So every hour, one over x. Similarly, second pipe, one over x plus 10. All right, is equal to, since the tank fills it in 12 hours, every hour, one over 12 gets filled. Correct? All right, <coughs> now solve this equation. So this becomes x plus 10 plus x upon x squared plus 10x is equal to 12, uh, 1 over 12. All right, now simplifying this, you should get x squared plus 10x is equal to 24x plus 120. So simplifying it, x squared minus 14x minus 120 is equal to 0. Now let's factorize it. So it becomes x squared minus 20x plus 6x minus 120. Now factorization you should know by now. If you don't, then just leave me a comment and I'll help you with it. Alright. So x into x minus 20 plus 6 into x minus 20. So x minus 20 and x plus 6. This implies that x is either minus 6 or x is equal to plus 20. Now we know that time can't be negative, right? So this is discarded. We don't need this. This is your answer. Now, this is a very important thing. M this answer will be there in the options and most of you will mark them. The problem is that they've not asked you in how much time the first pipe fills. They've asked you in how much time the second pipe fills and that is x plus 10. So the actual answer will be 20 plus 10 hours. So this will be 30 hours. This is your final answer, all right? Now let's move on to the third problem. Problem three, a cistern has two taps which fill it in 12 minutes and 15 minutes respectively. There is also a waste pipe in the cistern. When all the three are opened, the empty cistern is full in 20 minutes. How long will the waste pipe take to empty the full cistern? All right, now in problem three, they said that three pipes are activated. Two of them are inlet and one of them is an outlet. When they all work together, they fill a tank in 20 minutes. Now, minutes, hours, it's all simple math. Right? You don't have to change any equation. Everything works the same. Similarly, pipes, taps, everything is the same. Alright, now let's write our equation. 
However, when you write an equation, we don't have this value. Write this as x minutes and work from there. All right. Now, if you write an equation, 1 over 12, this is per minute. 1 over 15, I'm writing it plus because these both are inlet pipes. However, this is an outlet pipe. So minus 1 over x. It empties it in x minutes. So every hour it empties 1 by x. All right. It's equal to 1 over 20. Now, you should be able to write these equations by now. All right. Now, simplify this thing by taking x on the other side. So 1 plus 12, or 1 over 12, plus 1 over 15, minus 1 over 20, is equal to 1 over x. Solve this equation. We can take an LCM as 60. This will be 5 plus 4, minus 3, 1 over x. So this is 6 over 60 is equal to 1 over x. 6 ones are, 6 tens are. Implies x is equal to 10 minutes. All right, now you have to write this value. In the options, they might give you 10 minutes, 10 hours, 10 seconds. You need to mark the correct option. All right, this was fairly simple. If you got stuck or confused at any point in the problem, then leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you subscribe to my channel, then all the videos will reach you as soon as they come out. Tougher problems are to come in part three, so stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Thank you.